Hello, this is Ken Brown from the Dapper Church Record Company. We're doing a brief video this morning to discuss drama console design. With you as an organ committee, part of what you're looking at is not only the, the brands of organs and the types of organs, whether digital organ or pipe organ, but also the different designs of the consoles themselves. The, the console is what the organist has to feel comfortable at sitting and playing. And today I have three distinctly different designs here in the show. I have an English design console here. This has 45 stops on this organ. This is an American classic raw knob design here, and it has 61 stops. And over there on my far left is a terrace French style design with 49 stops. What we're going to do is we're going to go to each console briefly, compare the pros and cons of the design to help you make up your mind to see which console design is best for your particular situation. I'm going to start with the English console design. The English consoles are the tallest of the three designs. The reason for this is the English designs tend to have all the draw knobs in rows of two. Here you have a row of two for the swell, two for the pedal, two rows for the choir division, two rows for the great division. Also, you notice there's no couplers up in here. The couplers themselves are part of the draw knobs as well. So when you put the draw knobs closer together, and you include the couplers as part of the draw knobs, the entire console gets drawn in, but higher. So here, it is 45 stop open. The console itself is 52 inches high. There we go. But only 62 inches wide. And that includes all the functions that are very easy to reach. So seated at the English console, you can see everything is within easy reach for me here. If my choir was over there, it would be a little bit more difficult because the console is taller. So with the taller consoles, if you're directing the, the choir from the organ console, you may want to put it at 90 degrees so you, the choir can see. But as far as playing the organ goes, if I go to reach the principal chorus, everything is right here, close to me, handy. The, the swell reads, again, it with an easy reach here. So it's taller, more compact in this way, and everything is within fairly easy reach uh, of the organist. So here we are at the American Classic console design. This is the biggest of the three organs we're going to be looking at today. This has 61 stops on it. And again, you'll notice that everything is, is pretty reachable. You do have the coupler rail across the front here. Uh, pedal division, swell division, great choir, and even an additional floating solo division, all within fairly reach of the organs. Height-wise, you can see it's a little shorter than the English console, even though you have 61 stops instead of uh, 45, here you're 49 high. And yet still 65 and a half inches wide. So you get more stops in a little smaller compact area because here we can do three rows for the pedal. Here you're doing actually five rows across of draw knobs for the swell. Same thing over there. There's two rows for the grape, but three for the choir. That's a compromise between, as we'll see, the uh, terrace style uh, consoles and, and British consoles, the American uh, classic styles, kind of halfway in between. So sitting at the American classic style console, again, everything is within easy reach. I can reach both ends of the console comfortably with, with my arms. It is a little shorter. This particular organ also has an adjustable music test. So you can even lower that down that's not an American classic, I mean, that's just this console has the adjustable music desks. Some consoles have them, some consoles don't. If you go to turn on the principal chorus, everything is easily within reach. If you go to reach the swell reeds, again, they're all 
easily reachable by one hand. The principles are easily reachable by one hand. So everything is pretty comfortable within reach. The couplers are all in a row up here. If you put those on the draw knobs, like on an English style console, it'll be much higher. So this keeps the height of the organ low, but yet doesn't make it uh, too wide either. The third type of console design we'll be talking about is the terraced console design. Sometimes this is called a French console design. These consoles were originally designed back in the 18th and 17th century before there was a combination action available to organists. And by spreading the console wide like this, you could have a choir boy on each side registering and pulling knobs for you easily. You can see how much longer the bench is here and how much longer the organ uh, console itself is here. Now, you can see it's shorter than the American Classic console. Here we have a 49 stop organ. Some of the stops are on pistons, they're not all on drum knobs. But the height is 40. 46 and a half inches high, but the width, uh, here you're at uh, almost 74 inches across uh, width-wise. So you have to make sure you've got the, the space to put them. Because they're lower, some people feel they're a little bit easier to conduct the choir over the, uh, over the top of the console itself, but on top of the console you still have the music desk, so if you have music sitting here, I'm not sure you're going to gain all that much uh, height wise. Uh, but this is the terrace console designs are shorter and wider than either the English or the American classic designs. When you sit at one of these terrace consoles, on this particular one, half of the swell stops are over here, the other half are over here. Half of the great stops are here, half of the great stops are over here. So when you go to hand register, instead of just being able to grab a group of knobs away from the other two organs, the eight foot principles here, four foot octaves here, two foot here, mixtures here, so it's not done simply, the result is the same. Also, if you're a shorter organist, you may have a hard time reaching over to get the far knobs on either side. If you were doing this console design with a 61 stop organ, it would be another foot wider yet. Here again, we we'll only have 49 stops. So this is a little bit bigger than the English console design as far as number of stops goes. And it's much smaller than the 61 stop design. So the upside to it is it's shorter, a little easier to see over the top if you don't have music up here. But it's much wider and it's much harder to reach uh, different things. In the middle of a piece, for instance, if you wanted to turn on the reeds and the flues up here, you've you got to have two hands. And you really have to have the layout in your mind. In the middle of the piece, if you want to add the big trumpet, it's the furthest knob over here. So those are our three console designs, the tallest being the English, the one in the middle being the American Classic console, the shortest being the Terrace console, but again, the widest being the Terrace console, the American Classic in the middle, the narrowest being the English style console. I hope this helps in your decision when you're trying to decide among draw knob style console designs, which one is best suited for your individual worship situation. Thank you.